In this video, we want to have some fun. What would happen if all the continents get together and create the Pangaea supercontinent again? Three hundred million years ago, the Earth looked like this. All the lands were connected to one another, and there really wasn't any islands. So the Earth was basically a giant piece of land and a giant ocean. Everybody knows the land is Pangaea, and the ocean also has a name called Pantalassa. So put on your seatbelts. We want to go to another universe, a place where the Earth looked like what it looked like 300 million years ago. If this actually happens, you could drive a car from Iran all the way to Argentina, and then to Antarctica. When scientists examined the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea, they realized how effective it was for living things and how it helped them evolve. A lot of scientists also believe if Pangaea didn't actually break up, we wouldn't have a lot of animals we have today, especially humans. But since this video is just for fun, we're not really gonna get into the science. So we're living like 2023, but in Pangaea. As you can see in the supercontinent, North America and Europe are connected, and South America and Africa are connected in the southern part, while Asia is above all of them, and they are all connected to each other. It's interesting to note that India is its own continent at this stage, and it's not connected to Asia. India is here that's connected to Antarctica and Australia, but after millions of years, it starts moving, and crashes itself into Asia. And because of this, the Himalayas mountain range is created. But how's the weather here? Are we gonna have some fun? The edges of the supercontinent is like a forest and you could compare it to the Amazon rainforest. But the more you move inland, the drier the weather gets. And the drier it gets, the warmer and hotter it gets. The supercontinent is so large that the clouds cannot reach inland. And before they moved inland, they would already start raining so the clouds wouldn't go there. And that is why all the forests were next to the ocean. So this shows us that this supercontinent has a lot of useless land and it mostly consists of deserts. If you've seen the movie Mad Max, it probably looked like that. But well, let's go to modern day Russia in Pangaea and see what's happening. Can we go skiing there? 300 million years ago, Russia is basically the North Pole of the planet. But even with all that, it doesn't even have a centimeter of snow because the Earth has gotten extremely hot around this time and you really couldn't find hot weather in Pangaea. Antarctica is not cold either. Antarctica has Australia and India next to it, and it's still extremely hot. There isn't a lot of useful land, there is very little different animals, and it's either desert or forest. And because of all these things, animal diversity was extremely low, and there was only a select few. At this time, there aren't a lot of different types of animals living, and there's still about 60 million years until we see the first dinosaur. But let's not forget, we are in Pangaea in modern day in 2023, and the animals that live with us today are gonna be there. Most of the animals are gonna have a bad time, and they will be extinct extremely quickly. First of all, the animals that are considered prey like if you've seen our video about goats on our channel, you know how much rabbits and goats are in Australia. And the reason that nobody gets rid of them is because there's no predator that could kill them, like a wolf or a tiger.
But if all the lands are connected to each other, these animals are gonna go crazy and find all the prey they can. But unfortunately, they will be extinct as well. You guys know where the US is located. One side we got the Atlantic, the other side we have the Pacific. But in Pangaea, the East Coast is connected to West Africa and there is no more ocean anymore. If we still have today's governments, there's gonna be a lot of commotion in these types of borders because a lot of borders will be connected to each other rather than separated by water. There will be a lot of wars fought because of good land. In that piece of land, if you want to create the same pollution we do today, it's gonna be terrible. And the reason is the airflow in Pangaea is extremely slow compared to today's world. If you've seen this video we made two months ago, that China is creating jungles and forests inside the desert. But this jungle has made Beijing have dirtier air quality. Why is that? because it's stopping the airflow from passing by. Beforehand, there was a desert and the air could flow easily, but now it's getting stopped by the trees. We're not trying to say that it's bad replacing desert with forest, but we're just saying Beijing is located in a bad spot. This situation can happen everywhere in Pangaea and the pollution can stay there for years. 300 million years ago, there were a lot of storms on this piece of land as well, and they were much more violent than today's hurricanes. As you know, the most powerful hurricanes happen in the Atlantic Ocean now, but the hurricanes we have today, compared to the hurricanes on Pangaea, they're pretty much nothing. Scientists and geologists believe that Pangaea separating and creating different continents has slowed down hurricanes by a lot. This is the reason they say the planet is alive and it's usually trying to better itself, but it doesn't always get better. In Pangaea, you really have to say goodbye to farming because the quality of the soil is extremely low. Somewhere they could have good soil, but the weather is bad. Somewhere there's weather is good, but the soil is terrible. Somewhere the weather is good, the soil is good. But once in a while, the hurricanes comes and destroys everything. But let's look at some countries that are located in Pangaea today. We'll start off from the top. This is Russia that's located in the North Pole, but the Siberian part to be exact. Mongolia, China, and Japan are located on the other side of the globe. And the South Asian countries are located here as well, like Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, and Indonesia. And you could see a tiny piece of India that's still connected here, and it has not connected to the mainland yet. This gulf you're seeing basically makes the Caspian Sea. This piece is one piece of Iran. And on the north of it, you have Central Asia, like Afghanistan and Tajikistan. And the second piece of Iran is located right here. And Iran is one of the only countries that's cut in three pieces on Pangaea. The third piece of Iran is connected to the Arabian Peninsula and that's connected to the whole African continent. And you can see the entire Middle East right here. Even the Persian Gulf, but right here is extremely narrow. You could say India is extremely lucky. If it was actually here, it would be like Antarctica now. And Australia is east of Antarctica. As you can see, these are all connected. India and Madagascar are neighbors. The US is connected to Morocco. You can drive to Portugal from Canada and you could drive from Florida to Uruguay. After millions of years, this piece of land continues to change, change and change. And eventually we get to today's earth, but the change has not stopped. It's just, we can't see the movement. The human life is extremely short, and from the other side, the planet's life is extremely long. 